Have you ever noticed how no two men are exactly the same in size down there? Whether it's length, girth, or even shape, the differences are clear and perfectly normal. And here's something I want you to remember from the start. God created every person with a unique design. Your body, including your size, is part of that plan. You were never meant to be a copy of someone else. But why do these differences happen? It's not random. The answer lies in biology, hormones, and genetics, all interacting in unique ways for each man. This story starts long before you were born. In the early stages of fetal development, every embryo looks almost the same. Around the 7th to 12th week of pregnancy, a surge of testosterone triggers the formation of male genitalia. How much testosterone is present during this critical window and how sensitive your cells are to it sets the foundation for your future size. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2015 shows that even small variations in these prenatal hormone levels can lead to measurable differences in penal length later in life. The second major growth phase happens during puberty. Between about age 9 and 16, testosterone levels rise sharply again. This hormone surge deepens your voice, increases muscle mass, and finalizes the size and shape of your penis. If testosterone levels are higher during this period, growth may be greater. If they are lower, growth may be less. A 2006 review in hormone research in pediatrics confirmed that the timing of puberty and the levels of circulating testosterone during those years can have a lasting impact on genital development. Genetics also plays a central role. Just as you inherit your height or eye color, you inherit traits that influence how your penile tissue responds to hormones. These traits include the density of androgen receptors proteins that allow testosterone to communicate with cells. Even within the same family, brothers can have very different sizes because of slight genetic differences. Early health and nutrition are another piece of the puzzle. Studies, such as a 2014 analysis in the American Journal of Human Biology, have found that chronic malnutrition or serious illnesses during childhood can limit overall growth, and that includes sexual development. Poor nutrition during puberty can reduce the body's ability to fully respond to testosterone's growth signals. And finally, there's simple, natural variation, the same reason why some men are taller, have broader shoulders, or larger hands. A large-scale review published in 2015 in the British Journal of Urology International, which measured over 15,000 men worldwide, found that the average erect length is about 13 to 15 centimeters, but there is a wide, healthy range above and below that number, and every point on that spectrum is normal. Here's the important part. Differences in size do not determine masculinity, fertility, or sexual performance. They are the natural result of genetics, prenatal hormone exposure, puberty hormone levels, health during adolescence, and ordinary human diversity. So, if you've ever wondered why you're different from someone else, the truth is your unique size was determined by a combination of factors that started shaping you before you even entered the world. And from a spiritual perspective, you were created exactly as you were meant to be. God does not make mistakes. Every man is perfectly formed for his purpose. So instead of comparing, embrace the body you have, be confident, and know that you are already enough. Think of it this way. No two trees in a forest are exactly the same height, yet each one grows exactly as it was meant to, shaped by its own roots, sunlight, and soil. You too were shaped perfectly for your own life's purpose. Now, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you think men worry more about how they compare in size or about how they perform? Share your perspective in the comments. If you found this explanation helpful, subscribe for more science-backed discussions. Share this with someone who might need reassurance and tap the bell icon so you never miss a new video.